All right, welcome back everyone. So I'm getting ready to lay my last bit right here. I sealed off with some cheap cock around the corners and gaps and stuff to hopefully stop little bugs and critters. But so now I've done a manual measurement between here and that wall. It's 28 inches, roughly. I have 28 and a 16th, which is a little bit big, obviously, but it's too much work to throw it up on my table saw in the middle of the night while people are sleeping. So what I'm going to try doing is scribing. And we can see right here, we got a gap. I can get out of the line. we got a gap right here. It's about a quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths. And it's tight down there. We're going to do something called scribing. And if you look at the wall, it may be hard to discern that on the camera, depending on if it's got a fisheye lens or not. But it's actually got a bow, right? Like right about in this area right here, it sticks out further. Like it, it sticks out here and it tapers in, right? So that might... That's going to bring me some issues with my with my uh, workbench and then the shelving and everything else. That's going to be the storage area. So scribing, very basically, find something that appropriates a gap at your largest point. And in this case, I'm, it doesn't quite work, but I'm going to use a Sharpie. And then I'm just going to drag down, all the way down, keeping it flat up against the wall. Right? And it's still not quite touching. And it's only going to touch really right down here, which is what we want in reality. I'm going to mark this area here, and then I'm going to trim that off. And this Sharpie's about dry. We'll trim that area off right there, and then we'll retest fit it. More than likely, that's my problem. Because a foam should have a little bit of give to it, and I'm, I'm sure my tape measure is pretty close to accurate, but I think that's... That bow down there in the wall is what's really holding me up. 